And hi again, welcome to Daytime Ottawa Rogers TV. It's Tuesday and my name is Dylan Black. Smith Falls will be the place to, to be for the upcoming Outer Bridge Clockwork Mysteries. We have all the details right now. Ted, Marion, Outer Bridge joining us right now. Hello. Hello. Yes, hello. Good to be here. Good to Thanks for having us. On the program. This is exciting and I know you're going to be doing a magic trick coming up. Yeah. It's going to yes. just bedazzle us. It's pretty cool. It's, pretty it's cool. very cool. Mm -hmm. Is it true, Ted, you're the most successful magician in Canada? It's in print. It's in print. <laughs> the Montreal Gazette. They, they uh, made that claim. So That's pretty cool. Let's talk about your background again a little bit. Uh, you, uh, going all the way back to the age of seven, you started this Yeah, club. it was amazing. I was in Montreal eating spaghetti, and this guy pulled an egg out of my ear. Okay. And his name was Magic Tom. He was a celebrity Montreal magician, Tom Auburn. Mm -hmm. And Marion and I moved to Smith Falls last year, and we discovered last year that Magic Tom Auburn was born in Smith Falls. Huh. And then his, his dad passed away when he was three, so we, he went to live with his aunt and uncle in Montreal. That's like going full circle. In a yeah. Way. Absolutely. Yeah. So, but you he was my no hero. Yeah. He was my total yeah. idol when I was a kid, and by the time I was 12, I was Magic Ted, and I was charging $5 to perform at birthday parties that in my is neighborhood. Something. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Mary and I noticed that yes. you both have the same last name. What's up? Yes, we got married in Germany as yeah. living in, in Quebec, and we have been together for 20 years now. Yeah. In 2006, said Ted said, said Ja. In I got him to say Ja, and we got married, married in Dusseldorf. So yeah. I was yeah. able to take his last name. So yeah. now that's why we're also Ted and Mary in Outerbridge. And we actually um, built the show already before we got married. So my parents were a little suspicious to get a coffee mug with Ted and Mary and Outerbridge on yeah. it and other swag. And they yeah. go like, hmm, something you want to tell us? And I said, no, not really. And then he asked my dad for permission. And nice. next thing you know, we were, we were married. But we were performing together. And yeah. the show started off as Ted, Outerbridge, and Marion. And then we were performing. We were partners. And, yep. uh, you know, it's not fair. Why should it be Ted, Outerbridge, and Marion? And so. we share the fun. Like, it's not only me Ted climbing into the boxes. He does his share, too. Okay. Politically correct. Oh, yes. yeah. I could put into a straight jacket and I vanish <laughs> and reappear in the Seven audience. Seven foot high alarm clock. Guess who has trouble waking up in the morning? Yeah. It's Ted. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know what? Yeah. I've, I've seen, I saw the trailer on your website. It is spectacular. It seems like the show has a lot going on. So, what can people experience at one of your shows? Uh, it's really visual. Uh, we had a child last weekend who was, I don't know, two. I mean, it's vi we say five to 105, but it's very visual, fast paced. And the theme is time. So we're celebrating moments in time that everyone can relate to. We have a time machine. Marion climbs into the time machine and she vanishes. She's, you know, gone back in time and then she returns to the present but with a souvenir from the yeah, 60s. Yeah, from Victorian to the 60s to the and, 80s. Wow. And that was inspired by my haircut when I was in high school. It was really bad. And so <laughs> I wish I could travel back to my high school days and change my hairstyle. <laughs> yep. yeah. well, well, you're looking good today, yeah, so that's thank you. all that matters, right? <laughs> I had a cut in Smith yeah. Falls. Yeah, Looks Smith good. Falls haircut. Penny. Looks good. Thanks, Penny. So, so why the move to Smith Falls? Google, right? We Googled yeah, absolutely. Google? beautiful Victorian, Victorian homes. homes between Montreal and Toronto. Yeah, mm. so and we arrived was... in Smith Falls the first time and a teenage boy held the door open for us at Tim Hortons. It was amazing. And we were blown away because that doesn't really happen in Montreal. So <laughs> we just kept meeting awesome people in Smith Falls and we found this magical house. The entrance is shaped like a keyhole. You go through the keyhole into this magical house. Beautiful. So the house and the people. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Great, great little uh, town. Let's, let's get into that magic demo you've got for oh, us. Yeah. So what exactly are yeah. you going to show us? So the show is all about time and this, this piece kind of says it all in a way. It's, it, it, you know, a piece of thread. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. And life is a lot like a piece of thread. Uh, why? Well, it's fragile, right? Mm -hmm. But it can bind things together. It has a beginning and an end. They're not the important parts. The important parts are those moments in time in the middle. So moments of celebration with your family and your friends and times of solitude, triumphant success and failure, moments of intense love, and times of tragic separation. So basically life is really, it's, it's happiness and sadness and without one you can't appreciate the other. It's uh, it's a great honor being on this show today. I gotta say, and uh, well, I hope that the time we're sharing 
live on the air. We'll leave everyone with some, some cool memories. And I hope that our paths are going to cross again. I hope you're going to come and check us out at the Station Theatre. In Smith's in Falls. In Smith's Falls. As we continue our journeys through life. Okay. Wow. That is something else. And I mean, I, I am literally inches away from you, and I did not see anything suspicious going on or like, oh, yeah, I saw how he. That's just plain magic. It's cool. And this piece of magic has been around for about 400 years. Wow. And I just gave it a story. But yeah. I love it. It's just pure sleight of hand. That's something. Marion, tell us about yes. the showtimes. The showtimes at 7.30 at this moment at the Station Theatre. Um, this coming Saturday, August the 3rd, and then the 24th and the 31st of August. Mm -hmm. We are hoping, however, to add also some matinees. So okay. probably a 2 o'clock matinee, but we'll see what happens. Okay, just a minute left yeah. here as well, Ted. It's a very intimate venue. This yeah, year, this 140 theater. seats. Yes. Uh, the show is really for families, 5 to 105. It's very intimate, so there's not a bad seat in the mm -hmm. house. And it's all about the audience. So mm -hmm. we, uh, we have the audience help us out. They decide what they want to put in their time capsule, hmm. a Smith Falls time capsule. What would you put in a Smith Falls time capsule? Mm -hmm. We already know. Yeah. yeah. So but we're, the show is about the audience. We have people helping me when I divide Marion into two pieces. They're on stage holding her head and her yeah. legs. Super interactive, super that fun. That is something. And I know yeah. for our, our viewers online, perhaps, you've got lots of Ontario shows coming up as the summer progresses. Absolutely. Which is great. Into so. the fall. Yeah, yeah we have, all the way into have, the fall. Uh, the busy. Rose Theatre in Brampton, Oakville, Oakville, Oakville. Sarnia. Yep. Lots coming up. There yeah. you go, Ted, Marion. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dylan. Thank you for Masters having us. of Illusion, Champions of Magic. That's wonderful. And the Outer Bridge Clockwork of Mysteries happening, kicking off this weekend, Smith Falls. More daytime coming up in moments on Rogers TV.